Good evening. Hello. Oh, we have fun things to share tonight from the new catalog. It's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. I can't show you the inside of the catalog yet, but just know if you need the catalog, I have them ordered. They'll be coming to my house. I'll be sending them out. I'm having a little party here early next week. Have some friends over to help me get all the catalogs out. <laughs> They're hermetically sealed, though. If you have placed an order with me in the last six months, you're automatically getting one. You don't need to do a thing. But if not, and you need one, and you're not currently working with another demonstrator, if you are, ask for them, for your catalog from them. Otherwise, I would love to send you one. So I'll put a link after this video, but you can also just go to KarenTitus.com. At the top, you're going to see free catalogs. So as I've said before, it'll be, I'd be, I'd be happy to send one to you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, he does that. And we have a really interesting host code for this month. So waiting for some good sentences on that. Have fun with this. You can always find this at KarenTitus.com too. But it's 43XWKYQU. Boy, I don't know what you do with a Scrabble hand like that. That's really interesting, isn't it? Okay. 43 xylophones will keep you Seriously. Quickly understood. Okay. Okay. Well, I think you guys can do a little better than that, but okay. Oh, we'll know. go from there. And of course, you know, I ordered basically everything I could early. So this is what we could pre-order. And um, it's always kind of fun. And then next month when I can order more, I'll have more to show. So let's get this started. Okay, you guys, here are the new Colors. Oh my goodness. I love these. No, that one's back there. It's just doubled oh, okay. in there. So there are five new colors. They're all nice and bright. And I think after the long couple of years we've been through, nice and bright is really a fun place to be at. We have Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky. I think how cool is that? And they're all <laughs> yeah. alliterations. Brenda says, I wish I could help you stuff catalogs. I'm sure there won't be a dull moment. You're right. <laughs> there won't. You guys know I have a couple of people that help me on Mondays, my Monday Mavens. And this is like a reunion because I used to have a lot more like before two years ago happened. <laughs> so we're having a reunion, inviting them, inviting them all back. Tim's going to make his chicken salad. And it's kind of like a party stuff. It's a stuff your catalog party. But they're warned ahead what the work is going to be. So it won't be, it's not like, you know, we're inviting them over and, okay, we're going to paint the walls or something. I always think that would be pretty hilarious. Oh, and while we're on that, check out these gla glossy dots. And then these are the new ribbons. Oh, these are so soft. This is going to be great for doing cards. Sometimes I struggle with working with ribbons that are either thick or wide. These are going to be really fun. I don't think they're going to add too much to require extra postage. So I thought, how cool is that? I like those. And then, of course, we've got the same, the in colors in the Stampin' Right. Okay, let's turn it so they can see it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. And all the blends. I was already playing with these. I'm going to be using new products on my Thursday Live. This Thursday, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a little different. Instead of doing a fun fold, we are doing a stamping technique, and I'm going to be doing the technique a few times using all new product, and it's also introducing my All Good Cards Club for April is a dozen stamping techniques that you will love to know. So I like to show one of them okay, on a live. Bring those back. Mm -hmm. The papers that we showed you, yep. those and those, are they all They're the all the same. All so the these same. have like a light and a dark. Oh, I made a card that was just so pretty. These colors are beautiful together. So that will be fun. So that's my little thing for that. And the first suite, the first collection, actually, that I'm going to share with you is uses all these colors. This paper is just amazing. So I took off, let's see, I was trying to just do the, the 12 because, you know, you get several. Okay, so this is cup of tea right up my alley because yes. I love my tea. And she always does the dainty cup. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't. But, you know, this is the, the could be. It, it speaks to that tea. We have dyes to go with it. And check this out. Okay, I got to open this. This is pretty amazing. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, I opened most of the things and I guess I didn't open this. Look at these cards and envelopes. These are regular Ooh. size. How cool is that? And then these are the cards. That will be the basis of whatever you want to put on them. 
How's that for special mail? That was cool. Okay, so we have that. And these are envelopes because of how fancy they are. White ones are envelopes. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then look at this amazing paper. I got to spread these out. So there would be, I'm thinking maybe it's just better to just look at them. Look at this. And they know the flip side is a more of more of a, a tone on tone colors. So you get both. Oh, I love this one. Can we sing the song? The tea kettle. I'm a little teapot. Yes, short and stout. <laughs> the little lemons for your tea or for gardener for oh. These are just amazing. I cannot wait to play with it. Look at this. Nice. How cute is this? One is more purple. Two look similar, but one is a blue and one is a purple. One is uh, called orchid, whatever. And then the other is a dark blue. You can never have too many blues. Oh, and I love these backsides too. But isn't that fun? It is. And I was just thinking, some of them are very ornate. Mm -hmm. like and then the some aren't. And then some are kind of more, I just... Okay, these are really, really fun. Look mm. at, oh, there's really a lot of these. I like that. Now, I wanted to point out this, these are in the new catalog. And this is a whole suite of products that comes together. And you can order them in May. If you're looking at what I'm showing tonight and you think, oh, I don't want to wait till May, you can get one of the suite collections and then another of the bundles, you know, because you get to pick 125 of anything you want for 99 if you decide to get the, the starter kit. And just know there is so much fun with that, but just know that then you can order the pre-order that way, which is just kind of fun. So just had to throw that out. If that's of any interest to, me, to you, why wait? Give me a call or send me a message. Okay, here's another one. This one, he's all that. A great guy's set. Yes. Okay, and one of the things I love about here, all the different things on it. We've got like a cooking thing. Every oh, day with you is an adventure. We've got the compass. We've got the classic car. We've got nope. the pickup. The, oh, pickup, I mean. And then we've got the fun little van. I think this is really fun. We have these dots. And this paper is. And the mustache. Amazing. Hello, handsome. Yeah, you're, you're picking that one out. Okay. Oh, I like that. Look at here Ooh. for the barbecue. I love the colors. I just love everything about this. And here we've got the ties. So we have this amazing oh, assortment, mustache, glasses. And then the backs are fun. Okay, here's one of my favorites. Look at this, Tim. Whoa. Yeah, motorcycles and vintage, all this little vintage vehicle things. Is that amazing? And I love this Mustang thing in the back. Isn't that fun? It's a Chrysler product. Oh, I think this is really cool. And then I like, you know, and then I like how the back is done too. So, and then we've got this nice brown, just some really nice pictures. Okay, here is really my favorite. This one is campers. really my favorite. Look at this, Tim, for camping. We have the trees, the tent, the campfire, and the campers. <laughs> A couple of different kinds mm. of campers. Oh, this is so, you know, we raised our kids camping and we really miss it. So great nostalgia cards. Bonfires. Yeah, that is just so cool. I think, and then check out this page. That is all pop out things. So talk about being able to make quick cards. Look at this, all of these mm. just can pop up. And so we'll be making some really fun cards out of that. So we get two of these. So we'll definitely be doing quick cards. This is what I, I see when I see this. So I think this is just really fun. Kathy Oss is on here. Yes, she and I raised our kids together camping. <laughs> so we had three families that camped every other weekend from Mother's Day till sometime in October. <laughs> so it was pretty awesome. But it was the moms <laughs> that raised the kids because whenever the dads were in charge, we, yeah, we, forgot, yeah. That, we forgot that we They'd were in charge. forget they were in charge. And yeah, well, yeah, we've got stories, but we won't go there. <laughs> okay, another gorgeous this is just so fun. I just love looking at new stuff. And I just think of all these ideas. I don't know what to play with first. Yes, I do know what I'm playing with first. It's what I'm going to show on Thursday. <laughs> so this is Happiness Abound. So these are all like product suites that I'm showing now because they have paper, they have everything to go with them. Happiness Abounds. This is really pretty scripting. And Before we've got you go any further, have there been any comments? Let's see. Dana grew up camping all over central Minnesota herself. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, I think we've hit most of the state parks for sure in Minnesota and then private campgrounds and we have traveled <laughs> and gone quite a ways. So, 
Okay, let's see. And someone's on here for the first time. Welcome if you're on here for your first time. I said, that's really cool. So now, where did you see the paper from this? This is what I, I just think paper is just amazing. Mm. Is this gorgeous? And we were talking about this today, how these are all like different colors. So if you cut this into cards, they're not even mm. going to necessarily look like the same color. You know, that part has those. And then these have more the reds and pinks. And this is more the blues and purples. Isn't that fun? That is. So we'll show all of this side first, I think, and then we'll show the back side. Oh, we'll just go through and do them like this. I'll have them all. And then usually, you know, the back side then is a softer look for more backgrounds and things. Uh, but look how they've just done this with the colors coming down. I just love that. And then mm. these, okay, we can build some scenes here. You can see water and trees and, you know, we can do all kinds of fun things mm -hmm. and just uh, die cuts things out of this pretty paper. Northern lights. Yeah, so beautiful. Here's another one. I thought, isn't this just a cool concept how they've done the flowers? Mm. I think those are gorgeous. And they all, look at that. Mm. And this one, I love this one. I love dark backgrounds on floral paper. Sometimes we've had black and here we've got the deep blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. And another beautiful now, this definitely looks like water to me and trees. These could be some fun and scrapbook sun. pages, too, and sun. Ooh. Look at this one. Mm. I, this is gorgeous paper. Carol said she's a paper junkie. Oh, I know. I love, love papers. <laughs> Mary Teal, oh, you still have your camper, you said? Do you still go to your friend's camper? Oh, how fun. Okay. Oh, and more. I just, like, oh, are these, these are just gorgeous, I think. These are just amazing. And then this is the last one. Anyway, just gorgeous. And then I think we're back where we started. I do believe. Yep. So this is really exciting. So that's pretty fun. And then I have one more of these bigger collections. So remember what I said. Now, this is this one is going to be a real hit, too. Okay, this is Nature's Prints. And then we have the print dies to go with that. And look at this paper. There's actually a couple of different papers that are going to go well with this. Let me show you the first one first. This is Sun Prints. Oh, Donna says her folks took her camping when she's six months old and she camped for the next 25 years. And mm. her sons grew up camping on our Eagle Scouts. Do you know, we went camping. Well, we had, um, when our, when Josiah was like two weeks old, I remember taking him camping. <laughs> we had a camper. We were staying with your parents or somebody in a camper. Otherwise, we were tent campers. But I thought people were saying, oh, he's just so tiny. Yeah, but, you know, maybe he was a month old because he was born in March and that was April. But it was just so fun to do that. I just love that. Love the idea that they all grew up camping. Look at this. This is called sun print. So, you know, if you ever did the thing as kids where you put, let the sun fade. Hmm. And your paper's outside. That's kind of what this is like. And then there's a soft look in the background. I, oh, okay. So scrapbook pages here. Oh, these are just some gorgeous pages. Um, so beyond what I need to do for Thursday, I'd love to hear what I should work with first. Because I might just do a separate little video about whatever seems to be the number one choice here. And look at these. What are those? Um the Little things, little things that, that, you, that you, yeah. Um, I just love these color contrasts. We've got kind of the gray granite or smoky slate. I don't even know which one it is. And then these blues. This is going to be very, very fun. Both sides are really fun. Okay, am I back yet? Yeah, now I'm back where I started. So we have that one. And then we also have this one. Now, now it's in like some different mm. colors so i no see i'm just you guys i'm just really just looking at this the first time too don't these look like yeah, i think yeah. they're the same prints <gasps> but different colors how cool is that oh these are gorgeous i didn't even realize that till now you guys joan said her parents bought a trailer so they could visit europe when they were stationed over there how fun i think camping with kids and i think nowadays you know travel with kids and they're all on their little devices and you don't even look for things. We would play road bingo and all those things to pass the time. I would read books in the car. I think oh, those are some happy memories. And life has changed. Oh, these are really, really fun. Those are so rich. Yes. 
And then these are like bright. So an interesting combination of colors. I don't even know what the colors are. Of course, we will be posting shortly too about paper shares coming up. So you get a little of everything. So you can watch for that. But first we, you know, one thing at a time. <laughs> it's a little swamp, but I thought, oh, these are beautiful. Okay. Have I covered all of these? I don't even know. So I don't know. No, I don't think I have. I don't think these are repeating. Oh, these are just stunning. Okay. How fun is this? Okay. Those are perfect. I, well, I, you know, I, some people look at stamps first. I always look at the paper because you guys know how fond I am of paper and how much I'm using it. This is, this is really beautiful. And I don't remember what this is called, but it's a specialty paper. Mm. And I don't even know the name, but look at this. Mm. And it looks like, it's almost like feathers or ferns or it looks like ferns, I think. It looks like Do you see that? Where's is that on windows? Mary says they had a pop up in a tent. We did that too as the kids. We eventually we started tent camping and then we moved to a pop up tent trailer. And we love that. And then we added another tent as the kids got older because with the four kids and one in a wheelchair. And Tim, we had five kids. I can't, who am I leaving out, Tim? We had five kids, one in a wheelchair. And Tim's mom used to go with us too. So we really maxed out our camper and a tent. So. Did you hear what I said? Okay, but no, what? Hor is it horse breath? What's that? What's that when when there's on the windows? Oh, the frost, the frost thing. The it has that kind yeah. of look to it, doesn't it? Yeah. This is gorgeous. A little of this will go a long ways. Yeah, it does look like wallpaper, Gail was saying. It does. It looks like kind of, not the flock, but one of those other like older, older kind of uh, wallpapers. And yes, and Kathy says, and our older boys often slept in our station wagons too at night. <laughs> so said, and, you know, you make do. So now we're on camping stories. So who else has camping stories? <laughs> Add yours in here. <laughs> take off their shoes and our car would stink like smelly socks. <laughs> Flo, thank you. She said that was the brush stroke specialty paper. That's a good name for it. So that's a really good idea. <laughs> uh, it is not double-sided. It's a specialty paper. So it just has the one side that is just gorgeous. And then, you know, black and white is just perfect. This is going to be fun for coloring or left as black and white. Are they black? Ooh. That doesn't look black. Well, it's kind of more of a gray tone. Yeah. Brown, yeah. Gray. So it's kind of a but how pretty, and do you see how the one features yep. the dark and the other is, is something lighter? So these are just mix and match. Oh, these are gonna be fun. And it doesn't matter if you like to color or not because they're good alone. Ooh. I always use stripes a lot. Oh, these are gonna be fun. I'm gonna, I am going to love doing these. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I have some fun days. I'm gonna have to see what I can find time to play with tomorrow. There's this one. And I love both sides. I think now I think we're back at the beginning. Yes. Stampin' oh, up continues beautiful. to wow us. Oh, the paper is gorgeous. So that is, um, oh, that is hilarious. Well, Donna's got a great story I have to read. We did road bingo too. One time I put elephant on the list and 20 minutes after we started, we came upon a Barnum and Bailey truck oh. with an elephant on the side of the road. <laughs> with an elephant outside the truck. That is a great story because that would be like a stumper, like one no one would get. Oh, that is really funny. All right. Next, we're going to look at more bundles. And remember what I said, you know, all those have like three things that I've showed you. Now we're into bundles. So I just think these are fabulous. Okay. Here is a really fun, a fun one. This is sending smiles. You can see all these different parts. Oh, we have sending on a die. And then look at these choices. And we've got two little word frames to go in here. And look at these choices. Smiles across the miles. All the good luck your way. Sunshine to brighten your day. So this is all whatever you're sending. Love and big hugs. Birthday wishes. A note of thanks. A card to say hello. Comfort and strength. How cool is that? Like comfort and strength. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, that's a gorgeous set. And then this one. Oh, I love punches. And, <laughs> and so this is a punch that goes with the bottle. And look at all these flowers and things to put in the bottle. Mm -hmm. I love these words, overflowing with happiness. Let's get into the spirit. Sending a little message, wine and not. <laughs> but I love these different little 
little things. And then this, these are the little a shaker, uh, the little domes. How cute Ooh. is that? Okay, this is one I will be sharing for sure for what we're doing. This and the teacup for sure. Oh, and one of the others I already showed. So yeah, I'll be showing several on Thursday to, for actually making cards. And I'm not going to give page numbers because customers don't have them yet. I know as demonstrators, most of us have a catalog. You know, it's one of the advantages. If you buy the starter kit and for as long as you are active, and it's really great because there really is no obligation, but you're going to actually love all the extra little things you get. But we get things a month early. We can order a month early. We just see things. So um, this is Sweet Songbirds. And again, it's another punch. A little birdie told me, so happy you're here. Welcome. So that will be cute. In a nest. That will be fun. And then... Uh, yes, Renee's saying the little shaker card, those little bottle things would be a great shaker card it could be like um when you f fill a glass bottle and you put those things put flowers in the bottom those little marbly things <laughs> and you don't usually shake them but we could we could shake them <laughs> so <laughs> so all right and then look how pretty this is oh i gotta open this one this is botanical layers and i thought this is really interesting mm -hmm. i really love the look of these kind of modern art and then this is vellum paper. I'll open it because you know I'm going to use them. I'm going to, I'm going to use them. Look at these pretty different vellum. Hmm. Oh, and then those are just plain vellums. Oh, this is going to be really fun. So what is the circle for? Whatever you want to put inside. So see, oh, okay. we can highlight something. I'm not sure what. Isn't it's going to be fun to yeah. figure that out, isn't it? Because it's not like it necessarily goes with something. This, I mean, this one's so obvious. You put your words inside. I love this. So I have to make sure those don't scatter all over. <laughs> and then we have brood for you. Ooh. Uh, and I'm thinking root beer floats in particular. I know a lot of people like um, that really are fond of, you're really fond of root beer. You can't well, have the ice cream yeah. anymore, but just think of the, uh, that's kind of what I was thinking of this in addition to the other but look at all these fun dyes another but round for your birthday but actually this is karen's karen goes to root beer but but it's actually i think it's talking about beer oh totally that's yeah. why i'm saying root beer because okay. i would think of more people to send a root beer card to okay so I, i'm i'm just making it personal you know but no it's for anything uh, but it's interesting you have the bottle and this because it just gives you a lot of different assorted looks for this, which I think will be fun. Okay, Joan said she thought of root beer floats too. So see, I'm not the only one. So I said, <laughs> that's where I go. Beth said she loves her root beer. <laughs> so I think that's really fun. We do go things through things quickly, but this is just meant to get a glance. You're going to see a lot of these over time. Okay, this is lovely. Wisteria Wishes. And it's got some beautiful dyes and... Oh, this, I have some ideas in mind for this, but listen to some of these um, things too. Hang in there, even when you don't understand. Oh, faith is about trusting, even when you don't understand. Happiness grows within to a friend who's all kinds of wonderful. I like this a lot. I think this is going to be a really lovely stamp set. And Dan Fogelberg wrote a song about Wisteria. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. So Kathy's saying in Denver, they have a celebration that's called Bacon and Beer. <laughs> okay. Oh, and a bunch of you are talking about the, the uh, root beer floats. Yes. We, you, they do need a scoop of ice cream in there. We'll have to figure out how to make one. Maybe that cloud punch or something could make a little, we'll think of something. But this is really gorgeous. We went out for lunch with our daughter on Sunday. Brunch, uh, lunch. And I had a 1919 root beer. Uh -huh. It was really good. Yes. This was fun. Okay. Now I have a few other. This is a new embossing folder, which is really pretty. It's got that same kind of, this ferny look is really popular because we saw that in a lot of the different cards and a couple stamp sets. That's going to be really fun. Do, do you know why it's got a ferny look? Because they're ferns. <laughs> That's true. And, and the ferny look must be popular. <laughs> it must be. Oh, and I'm glad to have these back. These look like stitch. So we have circles, squares. I have really missed the stitch shapes. 
and then four different sizes of this. This is going to be a well-used set for sure. This goes with, uh, let's see, the fabulous frames, but it doesn't go with that one, I don't think. But I'm not sure. Otherwise, it sounds all. But look at these cool things. So we're going to have um, edges. Uh, and thinking scrapbooking, too. A lot of times you'll see, you can take a photograph and then, you know, in a scrapbook. I think this will be a great scrapbooking one. And card making, too. I think this will be really fun. And then, and then this is, I'll pull this one out. So this is a cheese grater. Yeah, it looks like that. Oh, dots and spots. That's going to be cool. So another thicker background one. And then, oh, that set does stand alone, Kathy said. Yeah, it probably does because I think you could think of all kinds of things to put in the different frames. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Because this is just going to go around different accent piece. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to like that. And then we have a few stamp sets that just stand alone. Fresh cut flowers is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love this. We have framed occasions. And this goes with the dies that we have right now, the Hello Beautiful dies. You'll see some of those same shapes. And so this will be very fun. There is a limited edition and um, some nice little hand stamped and things that you can put on the back of your cards. And then the last, the last one. I love this one. So I saved this one for the last. Look at mm. this. Wild and sweet. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Why? Because you don't like raccoons? Because we have so many. Yeah. <laughs> we have a little too many. It's not like a sighting of them is particularly yeah. pleasant. <laughs> These two, are, but, but it is cute. Those are just adorable. I mean, how cute are those? Yeah, we don't have either of those very much. Right. Yeah. And then we have too many of these, yeah. <laughs> even in the city. You can watch them Maybe. at night, but not so much lately. But for a while, you could watch the mom and the babies go across the road to find another tree but at night if you're up. <laughs> New Zealand and Australia might have any of those. <laughs> and, you know, you might have heard our story. We, Our oldest son got in trouble once for taking off the saw and cutting through our, our yep. garbage can. Is in plastic. And we just didn't believe him when he said it wasn't him. We found later it was raccoon doing it. They do that same thing and it looked like that. It looked like you took a saw to it. So we had a little apologizing to do. <laughs> and it is funny, you know, you can have five kids and, and you know which one you would blame for something like that. You know? <laughs> so anyway, that is so fun. Um, <laughs> Some of the, the Geico raccoon commercial. I don't even know that one. Do you? We're not. Yes. Do you know that one tastes like mango chutney and burnt hair? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, good. that's good. Connie has a fence to keep them out of our sweet corn field. I would believe that. And Cheryl used to have a pet raccoon. You know, there was that, what's that famous children's story? Was it Rascal or something like that? That was all about, was that what that was about? I can't remember. Anyway, we got a lot of coon stories. <laughs> Penny's got, <laughs> they eat their cat food every night out on the porch. <laughs> So how fun. Yeah, blame the brother or the sister. Yeah, in our family, it was a little hard to do that because there was kind of one that would be the one who spirited everything. <laughs> but that's okay. Makes for fun family stories when you look back. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> no. no. Be Hank's father. And Hank is totally the opposite, which is mm. so hilarious because Hank is as mild-mannered and... Um, <laughs> Sweet as the come. He's not when he gets in a ton of trouble like his dad did. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> he did that. So anyway, thanks, guys, for, uh, see, I don't know. Tim doesn't no. really know what he did. No. We want to remove that one. No. Thanks for spending this time with us. Let us know if you need the catalog. Let us know if you want to get the starter kit, if you have questions about anything. And then we'll see you Thursday, and we'll be playing with some of these new sets. And so for Thursday, you can just bring any stamp set, or you might want to just watch and then do. They're going to be really simple. It's going to be a fun, simple technique that you will love doing. Um, for our challenge. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Goodbye. Okay.